Okay, well, I've been down here earlier this morning trying to figure out a good way to put the camera up to where, you know, I can do the video without Judy. And I just couldn't find a good place to do it where, you know, I could put it up somewhere around here to where it'd focus on this and this and everything else that's around here, all the pain and stuff like that. I don't want to exclude that from the videos because it tells it like it is. I want to show you guys and girls how I do things if you're interested. And all of this around me, clear over in the other side of the shop where the saws are and everything else is, it all comes in to creating a figure like this. So we're just going to do it like we used to do it. So anyway, today I thought we'd do the neckerchief and the feathers, okay? Got my neckerchief carved here. I'm going to take my, let me get one that's got a shorter screw here. Just run that up there. Like I say, all these are just some broom handles. I drill a hole in the end and epoxy a, cut the head off of a sheetrock screw and epoxy it on there. And they make great holders to keep you from getting your hands dirty and the carving dirty, which is even more important. Oh, and also I'll do my little earrings. So for the neckerchief, I thought for the neckerchief, I don't want to do red because we got a lot of red up here. I thought for the neckerchief we're going to do uh, yellow. I think I'll leave that cap on there and just squeeze some of it. I wash my uh, palette over here. I'm getting kind of dirty. That's just yellow ochre. They haven't stopped making that as far as I know. So anyway, I'm just going to dip this in here like I always do. I make these bottle stoppers. Let me bounce off some water here. What I do is I, with a Forstner bit, I drill the hole up in here, just an indent, and then I use my little cork. Uh, I epoxy it up in there. So uh, that's how I do that. And this here I just made out of a piece of scrap wood that's laying around here. My grain's running up and down, not much to it. But it works. So I'll find a brush here. Now to paint something yellow, I always paint it first with yellow ochre, because yellow is a transparent color and it just don't look good if you put it straight on the wood. down in here, not really necessary, but I like to do as much painting as I can over bare wood. While I was uh, getting hot in here, it's cold outside this morning down, actually froze up here. It's hot in here. I got a fire going over there and you can hear it crackling in the background. But it's getting hot. I'm going to have to go over and shut it down a little. 
I heat with wood down here. Both Judy and I, I think, take a check here. Yeah, she's smiling. We enjoy going out and cutting trees down. Not live ones, if we can help it. There's plenty of, we own uh, 30 acres here, and a lot of it's wooded, so there's no shortage of snags and stuff sticking up that we can we can cut down, split. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Okay, so I got that painted. Now, I can either use Joe Sonia's expensive paint or the cheap paint, which you can usually buy down at Hobby Lobby for about a buck fifty when they're on sale. I can't tell the difference between the two. So I'll just continue using the one I always use. I always say that there's one big pot over in China somewhere where all the paint comes from. They all come, all these name brand paints run over there and they're all sitting there waiting their turn to dip in the big pot to get their color. It's all the same, craft wise anyway. Oh darn it, see that's what happens when you talk too much. Now that we've got that yellow ochre underneath, this paint looks, yep, color looks pretty good. But even then, I'm going to have to come back and double coat it. Triple coated. I was looking at some of the other wood carving videos on YouTube. And a lot of them just have a fella sitting there. You only see about this much of the video. Oh, damn it. Which doesn't tell the whole story. is just itching to get back over in that other paint. I almost didn't get to do this video today. Judy was upstairs on the sewing machine making pot holders. For everybody that's coming over on Christmas. Pretty pot holders. Who will know now? Hmm? Who will know now because they look at you? I doubt that. I know Sean does. Well, certainly you're not giving my, our son a pot holder. How embarrassing. He has his own company. Not making pot holders, but. He's an executive. <laughs> okay, see how dead that color looks? We'll let that set and soak in a while and then come back and get it again, I think. It just looks, it looks dead to me. 
I want the paint to soak down into the wood, but I also want to make sure that it's a nice looking color when it does that. So I'll just set that down there temporarily. And while we're doing yellow, I think I'm going to get this parchment color. earrings which are small and hard to hold on to so I'll have to go brush my or brush wash my hands here in a minute Put that down there and Okay. So anyway, I think this is the best way for me to do my videos. That way I can spend more time with Judy. quality time because it's sitting over there holding that camera. She can't gripe at me like she normally does. Okay, got that. But I'm going to take it with a little bit of this yellow ochre. I'm just going to hit the edge here. I'm going for the other paint. Someone asked me a while back what our background is. I can't remember whether I told you. But anyway, if you're interested, Judy and I, we got married in Beirut, Lebanon back in 1966. I was working with the uh, State Department at the embassy there in Beirut. And Judy came over and we got married. Had an exciting time in Lebanon back in 66, 67. Got evacuated, shot at tear gas. It was fun. <laughs> okay, for the feathers. Now I showed you how to do this in that last uh, video we did on the other Indian bust. But I'll show you again. But I'll show you a different way to do the feathers. Where's my dark umber? Now this is dark umber. I mixed this up myself. It's just dark dark umber with some black in it to give me a real almost black color and I gotta mix me up some more because it's almost empty so instead of using a spray I'm just going to paint much paint, it's mostly water. But I like that effect. Now the 
wish I could be right there. I don't think there's any pain in there. Oh, it's just water. Just water. Turn it over and do the same thing. Really shows off those veins, doesn't it? They're feathers. Which I made. I think I showed you how to do that in that last video too. The easy way. Side, get my black paint here. And use a smaller brush. That looks pretty good, huh? Huh? Mudstone, that's a good color. Mudstone. Nice gray color. Good color for quills. Judy told me a little bit ago that she 
figured out what she's going to buy me for Christmas, but she's not going to tell me. I don't think that's fair. got her present and have given it to her. I gotta wait a couple weeks. It's just not right. saw a video, short little video on the internet yesterday. This man and his wife were in the kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. She was over at the sink and he was over at the counter across the room. And he was making uh, the sounds that she has on her phone to indicate, you know, certain people calling, whether she got a Facebook page, whether she got an email. And she'd be standing over there washing dishes, and he'd go something like that, much better than me. And she'd put down things and come running over and pick up her phone and look at it, and then put it down, go back over, and uh, be washing again. And he'd go, <laughs> and she'd come running back over again. He would, did that for about four or five times until she finally caught on. What am I doing? Oh, yes, okay. Let me hit this with the. Oh, uh, well. That cheese not coming there has been where he's getting for this computer. It's probably not going to get much. of their feathers, they like to make fluff, a fluffy feather. So I use this modeling compound, which is just thick acrylic paint, to make that fluff and to hide my nail there. See that nail? That's what's holding this feather to the hat. I'm putting this on there, and that will hide that nail, and it's okay if it comes down over the red, because that's what it would do in a normal situation. So I just put a good glob of this on there. Like that. And then I take a toothpick. create some texture. Anyway, after Beirut, we went to Karagana over on the west coast of Africa for two years. Had two sons there. Well, no, we had one son who was born in Beirut, that's right. I'll hear about that. 
And we had a, our second son, he was born in Accra. He was a, a surprise to bring, yeah. He was supposed to go up to Germany and be born, but he didn't want to. Want to. <laughs> when Judy and I were headed one afternoon over to the Marine House for a happy hour, and I hit a bump in the road, and that, that was Aaron's introduction into the world. Okay, got that on there. I'm going to set that aside. That'll have to take a while to dry, probably overnight. I'll put it over by the fire so it dries quick. Now when I use this stuff, and I use a lot of it for things, before I close it up, I always get my water. I get a couple of squirts. Because if you don't do that, things are going to set up inside there, and it just gets to be a mess. You want things to be nice and fluid, so that keeps that that way. So we got that, that. After Ghana, we took off and we went to Santiago, Chile. We were down there in South America for two years. Dodging tear gas and running out of food because the stores were on strike. The other thing, beautiful country though. It was such a pretty country. All the countries we've been to have been pretty, I think. And after that, we went to El Salvador in Central America. And we were only there for a short period because I got a leave of absence to come back in Oklahoma. I took a leave of absence and came back in Oklahoma to help my brother set up a sign graphic arts business in Tulsa. And we were home for four years, became Americans again. And after that, we took a tour to the Soviet Union in the mid-70s, or late 70s, sorry, at Leningrad, at the consulate in Leningrad. Very, very fun post. Didn't get to go very much, except for occasional trip over to Helsinki, Finland, because that was when uh, Carter was in power and it was the Olympics and the United States didn't go and the Russians didn't particularly care for that. So they put a retainer on our travel so we couldn't go anywhere in the Soviet Union other than back and forth between Moscow and in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. I don't think I'm going to paint that much anymore. Anyway, that's looking pretty good. It's starting to look good. I don't really bad sign. So you got one, two, three. Oops. Three things down here. While I've got my yellow out, I'm going to paint his hat band yellow. So again, an underpainting of yellow ochre. And after an exciting two years in Leningrad, and we had a lot of fun there, we had a blast there. It was party central, only among the Western diplomatic corps. And, but we'd go out of town to a little dacha, the consulate, 
had a dacha, little house, outside the city, in the part of the country that used to belong to Finland. And we would go out there and spend the weekends with our friends and have fun, go out to eat, and you had an opportunity to meet the local people, the real Russians, and they were really nice people. We had a lot of fun. And after that, we went to Dakar, Senegal for four years, which was a good post. And after that, we went to Rwanda for four years. I need to paint that band. There's good color for that. Yes, I'll use asphalt, and that's always a nice brown for things. And after that, we went to, did I say Rwanda? Yeah, I did. After Rwanda, we went to uh, Swaziland, down in the southern part of the continent, right next to South Africa. We were there for four years. And we did a lot of touring around there. All, well, I think we hit about every game park in that country. We loved traveling around Botswana, over in the Nabib, De Nabib Desert. And after that, we went to New Zealand, because that was my payoff post after going to all these African countries, which people didn't want to go to. Other employees refused to go to these countries for some strange reason, I don't know why. He said, okay, we've paid our dues. Now we're going to go to one of the posts everybody's after. So we went to New Zealand. Stayed there six months. I retired, got on the plane and came home, and never have regretted it since. Bought us our home here where we are. I've lived here for 30 years. Okay, I'm going to move right along here real quick because I think this video is starting to drag and Judy's shaking her head yes. So give me some. Let me use this Joe Sonia paint. Let me just see if it shows you how much I use it. I can't even get the lid off. Probably get a big glop of clear liquid out of here. Yep. Great big glob. Everybody's saying, well, you should have squeezed that too beforehand. Maybe they should have mixed their paint a little better when they put it in the bottle. Put them back together for the next six or seven years. I can't see any difference that and that color wise and it covers no better So, we'll just end this video, and uh, when we come back, it'll be time to start putting everything together. I have to paint a design on here.
show you that. So until then, I'll talk to you later.